Hello and welcome to the devotion for Thursday, March the 6th, entitled Inspector Hypocrite. Now, Sunday morning we talked about what is a hypocrite? How are we hypocritical? We talked about what that really looks like. And we said that the technical definition of a hypocrite is someone who purposefully misleads people by saying, this is what I'm about, and then does something completely the opposite of that. That's a purposeful hypocrite. Then we said, and uh, a person who has hypocritical behavior, but it may not be intentional. They may actually have very high ideals. They just didn't make it to the ideal that they hold. They struggle, or as we would say, they sinned, or they uh, had a lack of integrity, or whatever uh, the uh, particular application would be. Now, one person that we, I mean, one place that we read in Scripture is Jesus teaches in Matthew 7 that a person is a hypocrite. It's when they do the one thing that I said is, I believe, is killing the church, which is we try to be the moral police for someone else while all the time excusing or ignoring the very same thing in our own life. Jesus said it this way, Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own. How can you say to your brother, let me take that speck out of your eye when all the time there's a plank in your own eye, you hypocrite, he says. First take the plank out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Now, there are many things that could block our view from being able to truly see clearly, which is what he says here, to help my brother or sister. Arrogance, pride, bl uh, spiritual blindness, uh, it could be that I struggle with uh, many of the same things, and that's why it irritates me so much in their life. Every once in a while, I believe God gives us a checkup from the neck up, and this passage is one of them. Hypocrite inspectors trying to look at the speck in someone else's eye and never really doing honest business in my own life. The moment that I get out of the God business, the moment that I stop trying to fix others and start trying to be healthy myself, it is amazing healthy people are sought out by people to gain advice, to gain wisdom. The church, I believe, has tried to give out advice when we haven't earned the right or that exhibited the character that would cause people to come to us and ask for wisdom, ask us for advice. We keep trying to take the speck out of our brother's eye and our brother's going, ain't no way I'm letting you touch anything in my life because there's a log in your eye. You can't see clearly to do anything. Your arrogance, your pride, your uh, place of self-importance, whatever it is, I can see that as clear as day. How can you be so blind as to not see it in yourself? So the goal is, well, I do such a great job of letting God work in my life that people with specks in their eyes come to us and ask for our wisdom, our encouragement, our help, our strength. I believe that's when the church will change the world. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I believe uh, as, as interesting as that parable is that the world sees the, uh, the planks in our eye even though we don't. I believe that if we can truly allow you to change our lives, people that have struggles in their life will come to us eagerly seeking our wisdom, our knowledge, our strength. Lord, help us not to be hypocrite inspectors looking at specs, but that, Father, we will be clear-visioned men and women of God that people come to because they see the character. They see the quality of our lives. Lord, let this parable not be told of us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow.